So I started walking back toward the house, and this thing appeared in my field, whatever it be, my third eye, or I didn't know what a third eye was, you know, I still don't. Uh, but this, it was a seething mass of molecules, and they were like a clump of molecules that somehow like Lego bricks had gotten put together, and they were sort of doing something, and I thought, oh, I can ask this thing, it must be a thought experiment, I'll ask it. And just as I was about to ask the, the bubble mass or the molecule, molecular mass, you know, how did it all begin, it asked me a question. It said, figure out how we made a copy of ourselves. And my little 14-year-old brain flipped into, well, you're a machine, and if you have an automobile, you need a big factory to make an automobile. I don't see a big machine around you. So it's not plausible. And it winked. Work on it. I finally got a computer, PDP 1134, at the local college. Uh, it was actually booted up with a tape bootstrap. There was an option to do that. So I started studying these, these bootstrap idea, like how do we get our system up? Well, we just feed this thing in, then it starts up services and whatnot. And I then conceived of the, maybe the, the origin of life had to start with a random puncher, like a paper tape puncher. And that that paper tape would generate random program tapes, just random be read into a simple computer. This is a Altair 8800 from my collection in my barn of all places. So the computer is fed by energy and the computer cycles continuously. Pulls the tapes in, tries to, uh, reads the codes, tries to run the programs. The programs are run in its little processor that cycles and cycles and cycles with energy. And the programs mostly crash out.